monsters. You're a slayer, Crixus. Now you don't use for death to all. Oh monsters. yeah, I. With that knowledge, I let's ask. Let me ask a question. How can these be killed? Uh, what are you trying to get to kill? Uh, animate trees. Oh, I mean, oh, you can just don't have to roll for that. No. Okay. Uh, how, do you, how do you kill an animated tree? Well, fire helps. Here we go. I, immediate, you just... I immediately suggest starting a forest fire. This gives Akira an idea, and like picking up the corpse, like touches a tree with. Oh, but well, trees are a insulator. I, it probably Rixus, won't work. But... Do you have a problem with monsters? Oh, I have several. So I mean, you don't think this yeah. tree was one of them because. Oh. Um, oh, you don't. Never mind. You don't know. Okay, but so Akira. I mean, either way, Akira touches a tree with the stone by way of the corpse. Yeah, I Does mean, anything yeah, there, there's like a ball of lightning arcs out of it, and it hits the tree, and there's like a darker singe mark on it. Does this mean we are to kill these trees, Crixus? If the trees attack us, we fight back. And that on that note. I, I, which direction, like, it, it's not in the direction we're heading that the numbers are louder, is it? Uh, it actually is. Okay, we're heading towards it, so I just kind of tell everyone to get ready. Get ready to meet the source of the numbers. I've had my okay, axe okay. brandished for quite a while, so yeah. Um, let's see. And I'll I, back, I kind of, and on that note, I hunker down in the car and I start reading up on these kind of trees. Oh shit! I'm gonna roll. Sorry, no. I'm gonna, can I roll Monster Hunter? Sure. What's up? I I forgot to ask you a question before. You know when we met that like very weird like, you like, strange abomination in the mm -hmm. sack. I was gonna ask him, was the blood red or was it different? Uh, the bottom of the sack was yeah, blood, dark, red, almost okay. black. Okay, yeah, so continue. It's been a while since I've had readiness against a foe, but because of my thing, I get it says take one, but because of my thing, I get two readiness. But because it's less than a, because it's less than six, I get one, but it's in addition to whatever you say. So you can bullshit me on one of my two readiness. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah. So let's see, you study up on what living trees? Yeah. Okay. Uh let me make a roll. I just like plop down in the cart next to well not next to the corpse since it's being used to electrocute a tree right now. But I just like open up a, a giant tome and flick to the chapter on tree monsters. Yeah. Um, do you want to know anything about it, or oh wait, is that when you see them you can do that? That's, this is for readiness. It's not quite like a spout law check. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Us. So yeah, yeah, just go going. to where they are in the book. Hmm, I'm getting flashbacks. In my previous life, I fought a tree, but didn't win. Oh, great! Crixuses can't beat a, even beat a tree. Could you beat a tree? Uh, if uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't. I don't doubt myself to being a great fighter. Okay. Uh, cool. So you keep walking, and you know you notice that you're converging on a odd set of tracks. It's there. Look like they are dragged, but they are in like a three-pronged kind of shape. Are they parallel? Yes. Hmm. I say we follow the tracks, or just keep heading the way we were headed. Yeah. So yeah, you keep following, and you notice, you know, like, oh, there's another set of the tracks, and oh, look, there's, there's another set of the tracks. 
and they all kind of start converging on the same place. Um, let me roll something. Okay, cool. You keep walking. The It basically sounds like someone is standing right next to you, just spouting random numbers at you. Uh, and off to your right, you notice a... Well, actually, no. You guys failed the scout roll. Uh, you end up, you notice you walk into like a bit of a clearing and there is, appears to be a corpse like in the middle of the road. Uh, Rio, go and inspect. If no, I, I'm go going to inspect. discern realities on the corpse. Sure. Oh, never mind. Nope, you know nothing. Mark an XP. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot to do that. If you fail or roll, make sure you mark an XP. I hope my, I hope my mic's oh, not yeah. been off this whole time. I asked, uh, what did I miss? Oh, um... Just uh, notice, I, I... like, tracks. Okay. In the they... forest, there are tracks and a corpse oh, in a clearing. The game should have been yesterday. My XP is 9-11 right now. Oh, no. What? Ha! 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 Not funny. Uh, no. not but good. it was the date! I mean, no. I suppose... Nah. Not funny. I'm really not comfortable making those sort of jokes, really. Hey, I find American, those jokes kind of plain. Yeah, we're, we're American. We're allowed yeah, to exactly. You, you guys aren't. Yeah. Alright, what he said. I can still say not funny. I rate that joke yeah. 7 out of 7. I just don't like... I just don't like... You're not American. American. You have no right. Alright, anyway. Yo, I, don't fi I think you're the one without rights here. There is... Ooh, hey, we're in the land of the free. We got all the rights. Or do you? Anyway. That was a, it just yesterday was literally nine eleven and my XP is nine eleven. There it is <laughs> you are God, quickly so approaching a corpse. Uh, we're running towards the corpse. Quickly approaching it. I don't know if you're running. Um, yes. A corpse, guys. We should leave. Well, we have to pass by the corpse anyway. Yeah. We can walk up. We can walk around it. That's a good point, but I think we should hang on a second. I Is anyone God else going to discern realities on it? I, I mean, I swear to God, Crix, if this is part of your one of your adventures. Yeah, ask one. Um, because I'm with the cart, could I use the elven eye on this? Sure. Actually, on a plus. Uh, okay, I get one question not on the list, so long as it's sight based. What injuries does this corpse have? Blunt trauma, Ooh. and it is not your usual corpse either. It is vaguely humanoid shaped with long, gangly legs that end in like a Y kind of a shape. It's got. Was this what was making the tracks? Does it appear? Um, that's reasonable to assume. I mean, do the tracks end at it? Uh, one set of tracks end here. Ah. Solvol's uh, staying on the defensive. The creature is a dark purple color, and it appears like, you know, if you like poke it with a stick, it seems kind of like jelly-ish. Like there isn't a ton of structure to it. Like there, it clearly has a defined structure, but it's not like you're going to find an elbow. Uh, no skeleton, likely. It might have a skeleton, but it'll be, you know, like real flimsy kind of bone stuff. I mean, not taking it either way. But... Yeah. So it's got um, long, gangly legs. It's got hands that have four fingers. Um, kind of like a skinny torso up to this stalk on its head. It's got this thick neck that ends in a circle in the middle. And then there are... Hold on, let me count. Five eye stalks that come from this circle in kind of the shape of like a five pointed star. And in the middle of it, of the like stalk, is, an, is a mouth. Gonna roll spout lore on this. Eh. Tell you something interesting. It might be related to the first creature you found. <gasps> 
So Neat. I think this might be a Starborn, Akira says. It's two aliens in one day, one dragged through the snow, the other beaten to death in a forest. A dead forest. A dead forest. Mm -hmm. Possibly by an angry tree. Trixus is a slayer now. Shouldn't he be interested in these? I, I am. That's why I've got the book on trees ready. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Okay, like, if, if you... If... Oh, um, Akira asks, does the ear seem to be getting from him? Oh, yeah, let's go closer. I got... I kind of like carefully walk out into the clearing towards the corpse, and I hold the ear to the creature. Um, let's see. on the back, the creature you is have a walk with you. The creature is um, somewhat magical, but it seems to be quickly fading. Um, it is still kind of warm, so you think its death might be recent. Hmm. I once again get up and like search around the ear, trying to find the the source of the numbers. Yeah, I mean, they just, the numbers, like, continue, like, in a path, like, the path it was moving to. Hmm. Oh. I... Are there any other tracks around? There seem to be long, like, scraping, scraggly, shifted snow piles around. Like, something moved through it, but slowly. Let's keep moving. Let's follow the tracks. Oh, uh, you want to follow the tracks? Or I don't follow like the this. Ear? Huh? Do you follow the tracks or follow the ear? The, uh, the ear and the tracks don't line up. No. I think we should follow the ear. Let's I go agree. by Let's play it by ear. Uh, let's play it by the ear. Zach's, Zach's is playing the X Files theme. Uh. Let's see here. Akira is annoyed by the beeps and whistles. Uh, Ricario. Yeah. You're riding on the cart because you don't seem like the type who would walk. Nope. As you're kind of, uh, as you're kind of pulling through the clearing, you're you're looking around, and you swear you see one of the trees just staring at you. Duh. Guys, I think the trees are staring at me. Which one was it? Uh, that one. I point at the one I thought was staring at me. I I look I look at Akira, kind of hoping she gets the message that trees need to die. What? Just attacking these trees on the blue? They might be friendly. We might be able to work with them. Just for oh, pay, 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 so that's not. <laughs> they beat an alien to death. So did we. Good point. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Was... I think it was already near death. We did it a favor. So we should let the trees get the first strike. And again, if you're in a forest, it's probably best not to start the war with the trees. If we see Rixa them, says lunch. that as if it sounds meaningful. Akira we... crosses her arms. It's your it's your call, not mine. If no, we let's see keep them going. lunch, then we attack them. Okay. So we just keep following the ear then. Cool. Keep following the ear. So eventually, uh, you see... Here, I'm just going to draw it. Ooh, drawing. Let's go on the right-hand side of the screen here. Okay. I'm going to go freehand, get me a color. You see a building. It's kind of like a two-part building. Uh, this is like one part, okay. and then yeah. the other part is like taller like this and there is a pole sticking out of like this part how big is this building uh the building looks at least the tall one looks at least two stories um what's it made of like wood stone metal what uh it look it appears to be made out of wooden stone yeah i'm gonna discern realities here Accessing my data banks. Yeah, nothing, just, fool. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Alright, Zach just kind of looks at Crixus. My data banks are really not coming in handy this adventure, on this adventure. No, they're not. Perhaps it's um, the. Perhaps it's the closer proximity to your place of creation, fucking with your circuits. Hmm. All the more reason to abandon the search for my place of creation. 
I'm going to... I agree. I, I think we should just go back to a nice big city. In fact, we could all be entertainers. Let's give up this adventuring lifestyle. I've got an idea. Yeah? Zax. Yes? Want to be on this adventure. Okay. Oh, oh. fuck. That's not... Uh, Zax, do what you want. Akira is going I... to appear at the building and perform her own discern realities while this is happening. Just... There you go. I mean, I, I, you guys were still talking. Go ahead, continue. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's him. I, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to attempt to delete my bad feelings about my place of creation. Zax is just going to stand still now and make mechanical noises. Uh, actually, Zax, roll a, uh, wisdom check. Wisdom oh. check, okay, okay. Wisdom. Interesting. This is for... There you go. Nope, you can't delete the bad feelings. Sorry. Mm, not working! This has never happened before. Shouldn't that be an int, though? Not whiz? Intelligence is more of quick thinking. Wisdom is okay. mental fortitude. Yeah, okay. Okay. So no, let's, let's ask yeah, you three crazy. questions. Um, okay. What happened here recently? What happened here recently? So you do notice more of those tracks like approaching the building. And in fact, you kind of see like the door is opened a bit. And this appears to like judging by the tracks like quite recently then. Yes. Okay. Um what should I be on the lookout for? Uh definitely more of those creatures that you saw like pummeled. Um what here is useful or valuable to me? Uh, it may not be valuable to you, but that metal pole sticking out of the second building might be valuable to Crixus. Because right, Crixus, I you're kind of like you're waving the ear around, and when you point the ear at this metal pole, the numbers are like loud and there and like perfectly crystal clear. I and drop. Oh. Sorry. And you actually manage to pick up this kind of like odd shuffling sound like in the background I drop the into my chest no doubt about it those are the numbers should we stop the numbers shall I cut the pole let's go inside and find out what's going on first then yes uh, Akira um, shrugs and I ain't got any other ideas Let's go inside. Cool. So far, could I, wait, is it currently snowing at all? Uh, no. No. Darn. Why? What would you want to do? Um, I was going to say, if it was, Solvar could relatively easily get to the roof. Like we'd well, really He still could. It's only one story tall. We could give yeah, him a leg but, up. Well, we could do that with anyone, but Solvar could casually walk up to the roof. Sure. He have to take uh -huh. Solvar can walk on snow. That could be an amazing act. Although it would still be easier, like, we could hold snow in our hand, and he could use that as, like, a stair. Hmm. You'd have to reach pretty high, though. And, like, with story. one one arm, like, you know, at, like, you know, I, we, medium, I mean, the other one I, held above your head. I still don't even know if my weight takes into account with you holding snow or not. I, mean, I know, I know the... I mean, oh, it's fantasy. I, I, it's up to yeah, It's up to. That, 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 that's discretion. true. Then again, walking on snowflakes as if they're stairs. That snowflakes have say, no like, weight at all. So it doesn't really doesn't matter. Have... You just have to make a strength check. I mean, do we want to do this? I mean, I'm not cool. saying right now. I'm just saying, like, if we should no, decide. You should. You've intrigued me. Oh. You've intrigued me. I'm, I'm going inside here. the building. I'm... Yeah, you want to go inside? Yep. The door's yeah, slightly ajar. Let's, let's, so let's, yeah. let's just Oh go. god. Ricardius falls in. Do we in. knock first? <clears throat> knock oh. knock, open up the door, it's me. Knock the door's already <laughs> open. <laughs> knock knock, it's knuckles. So like, the door's knock, already knock, open. Knuckles. You don't have to like, blow knock. Thrower. So you walk in? Yep. Alright, the first floor, your entry point, seems to be a kind of like kitchen area. Here, we'll draw it again. 
We'll do drawings today. Let's go with this color. That is a bad color. Let's go with that color. So you kind of hey guys, it's kind of dark in here. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. So you enter the room. You enter the room from the south. It, it's kind of like that. And you notice there is like a staircase here going up. Uh, this and you know you walk in, you see like a dinner table like here. There's chairs on it and like counter space like here and like a cupboard and stuff. Hey, Ricardo lets out a big. I have a bad feeling about. This. Wait, question. Which so we entered in on the two-story side of the building then on Correct. the right yeah. side. Gotcha. Um, it looks like the chairs have been knocked over, um, and there is, the, like, the stuff on top of the table is, like, a mess. There's, like, a spilt cup and everything. Hmm. I head Further... up... Further... Ah, never mind. I head but upstairs. Up... Yeah, I, I was gonna say that I wanted to go upstairs. Alright. I don't wanna go upstairs. And yet, here we are. Too. I'll go upstairs oh, well, as well. Well, fine. Stay right. downstairs. Wait, going, going upstairs? And Ricardo says I don't want to go upstairs, but he sees everyone else going upstairs like, oh, shit. Okay, so just everyone is going upstairs? Mm. Alright, so upstairs is basically just an, you know, another perfectly square room. About the same size. Stairway is at the same place. You kind of land. Uh, it appears to be a bedroom. There is a bed. There is, the bed is probably like, I don't know, right there. It would be bigger than that. Uh, and you, you notice there are two of those creatures that you saw got pummeled, like, bent over the bed. And it looks like they're picking something up with their hands. Um, there is, appears to be like a body lying on the bed, and there is a third one, uh, like, at the dresser, just kind of like staring at the dresser. I stand in silence. Is the, the body on the bed a, a human body? E it's hard to tell now. Well, that's not good. By hard to tell, do you mean the body is so not intact that it can't be identified or just we can't see it clearly? Uh, they're kind of blocking the view. I mean, okay. you can definitely see, like, human-looking legs. Gotcha. It is at this point that Zax just says, Hello, we come in peace. Griggs just tries to cover his mouth, but he doesn't have one. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, all three of them, their heads, like, swivel around, and the 15 eyes just kind of, like, kind of oscillate slowly in kind of, you know, like, circular motion around the head, and they are all staring at you. Wow! Those are a lot of eyes! You must have some impeccable eyesight! The, 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 yeah, sex. Shut up, I think we should leave. And the two by the, the two by the bed, you notice they're, like, holding chunks of, like, organ and viscera, and they've got blood, like, all over the center of the, like, eye stalk. Crixus smiles. Well, this is all the reason I need. And I draw my sword. Oh, are we engaging in combat? Probably. So right. the one at the dresser, its eyes look at you, Crixus, and uh, immediately this, like, ray of energy shoots out from them. Uh, dodge. Dodge really hard. I will. I, yeah. Ray of energy. Nice, yeah. nice. And I get so, readiness against it by doing that. So there you Ugh. go. So yeah, like one of the eyes is constantly following you, and it shoots out like three bursts of energy as you, you know, dive and roll. The the three bursts like hit on the floor behind you. <laughs> I do I dip and dive, and I start trying to charge it. Sure. Uh, another one of its eyes like looks at the rest of them and who is second in line 
I think me, because I followed behind him. Sure, so... I, I will say, Ricardo is the last. Yeah, I, I'm behind so far. So, like, one eye is following Crixus, the other eye looks over at Solvar and also, like, fires this burst of energy from it. Oh. Hmm. Um, while this is happening, Akira is going to charge him once he starts to fire at Solvar. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same, but at the one with tri firing at Crixus. Do I have, like, no time to react? Because I was going to suggest something. You can dodge. Well, you can, like, divide well, you, you can, the first yeah. thing we need is Silver's dodge. Yeah. yeah. So, do, 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 so, I mean, you guys are all in a pretty narrow staircase. Nine. I was going to say that I was behind Silver, not Zax, unless Zax wants to. Really cares about being behind him. Well, I don't care that much. I mean, if you want so, to. So, Silver, here's the thing. Uh, Akira is immediately behind you, and you think like where you're standing, you can avoid the shot, but Akira is going to get hit with it. Wow. That's... that is something. Flying uh, Solvar would care. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Alright, uh, Akira, you take 7 damage, and can you please... Make a mental fortitude save. So roll plus wisdom. Okay. Oh, um, me. Wisdom. I mean, he understands these people <laughs> might be useful to him, but he isn't going to be that good at saving them. Eight. Eight. Let's see here. So... You stumble backwards after this blast like hits you in the chest, there's this like immediate wave of confusion, but you you take like a second and you steady yourself. But then you notice you're falling backwards. Okay. Um, I am also I have plus terrifying now. By the way, just cool. Um, like, do I need to defy danger for falling backwards? Uh, either you do, or maybe Zax might help and try to catch you. I'll do that. No, what's that roll for? So, Zax, you're just gonna give a uh, roll plus bond with Akira. Okay, that's a 2d6 plus 1 then. Alright, aid or interfere. You also expose yourself to danger, retribution, or cost. Okay, so you can give uh, them a plus one or a minus two. Plus one? I'll be good. So, okay. To Akira, right? Yeah, yeah. plus one. Alright, Akira, you need to roll either dex or intelligence to save yourself. What do you do? Dex. Um, I just Ooh, grab... Essentially, I'm falling back down the staircase. I, like, grab where it, you know, the hand grab or whatever. Yeah, okay. The hand. Yeah, so and, uh, the... I guess I get my like hand like uh, at her back. Yeah, so that's like, a plus to keep one. Her from, to keep her from stumbling further. Yeah, that plus one turns it into a ten, so yeah. that is a success. So, and okay. Akira's going to immediately slingshot back and charge. Sword, hack, and slash. Uh, can I also help with that? Like, can I push her forward? You want me to roll again for hack and slash? That would be cool. Uh, yeah, and Zax, if you want to, sure. Well, you're... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna push her forward. Oh. Ooh. So... Mm. It's weird, because there are not uh, failures on the help or interfere. I think he just fails to do anything. Then. Yeah, it I... just doesn't work. Okay, I'm just going there. I just, so I give her nothing. I just give her a friendly little tap on the back. Basically. Whoa, wh fresh? Wow. Alright, um, so let's see here. Crixus, what do you want to do? Well, um, Akira landed the hit, but I'll, yeah, I'm, I I'm also... So, like, yeah, but you're further ahead than Akira, so... Okay, well, I was, I was like, uh, diving about the room trying to hit dodge the lasers, and it was the fucker by the draw who was trying to hit me, right? Mm-hmm. I run him through. Alright, roll it. Ten strength, awesome. So yeah, Crixus, your sword comes down. Like he tries to throw, or it tries to throw up an arm to block you. Uh, Akira, what do you do to close the gap? Um, 
like just essentially I use pull myself forward and just wait at the guy I'm attacking, right? Which is mm -hmm. is it the same guy as? It's the same guy. Okay, yeah. Um, essentially, I charge and just swing my massive sword at him. This isn't that big a room. Yep. It's a good thing I'm ducking down into this strike because the fighting blade probably goes over my head. To oh yeah. Into it. Okay, Austin, where am I in this room? Uh, oh. you're on the staircase behind everybody. You're so, here behind me. So, Crix, both of you get to roll your damage. This is and... okay. Spectral sword plus one damage. And yeah. plus two piercing. All right, Mine's damage. plus two piercing as well. Fantastic. So, Crixus, you your spectral sword basically just uh, cuts their like forearm off as they tried to block it. And Akira goes in for the kill, but one of the eyes like shoots out like a desperate laser. And it scrapes across uh, Akira for three damage. Okay. Uh, as your sword just like collapses its face in. Um. Is it just dead, my then, shields, or? Just my shield plus one armor. I'm so. Does that like not work on that? Oh no, it'll work. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Bye. And did it kill it? Yeah, it's dead. So the okay. other the other two in the room. Like, look at... Let's see, Solvar, you made it up the stairs. The other two look at you three and just fire, like, a burst of lasers from all their eyes. Hmm. Will the three of you... Uh, well, what wait, did the three wait. of you do? Are you saying me? Too? No. No, 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 uh, he's, he's talking about Solvar. Okay, those three, okay. Yeah. What is going on, Sax? I dive behind the fresh corpse of the one we they just killed. killed. So, one of the so the one you just killed is like bent over against a broken yeah. uh, bookshelf. Well, I kind of like I kind of squeeze my way between them, just like hoist it up as a shield. Okay. Is that strength or dex? Uh, I would do strength. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, I still get readiness on a seven, but yeah, fucking apex predator is great. Um, Akira essentially very anime just sort of dodges it as charging at them, like sort of ducks under it and yeah. advances. Ooh, nice. Nice. And so I what? think I'm gonna play it safe. Seven. Seven. All right. So let's see. <laughs> um, and Akira, you know, charges and slashes at the closest one. I was hoping to <laughs> duck so, for cover. So, Crixus, you notice this body seems like a bit heavier than you think it is. Um, but there might be a different way to avoid the damage. Please re-roll. Uh, strength. Okay, you just want to keep trying to heave no, it No, 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 I, I was just wondering which were you asking for. Uh, whatever, you know. Think of a way to avoid the danger. Um, I see the beams coming towards me, I'm trying to push, and I just dr decide instead to drop to the ground. Actually, no, I'll keep- I'm gonna keep trying, I'm just gonna try and move it faster. So, keep yeah. the strength. I want I want this corpse between me and lasers. Mmm, hard fail though. You know, you don't get it up in time as the laser like singes you for five damage. Did, did I still dodge? Um, let's do you next. So you I have a seven. Okay, as you can see, Ricario and I have formed an, have formed a plan. A show okay, plan. I'm gonna you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna you. Okay, I'm gonna use so, my fantastic. Hold on. First, we okay. have to deal with uh, Solvar here. Oh sure. Yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Uh, let's see here, let's see here... Looking through some stuff... Yeah, alright. Uh, you managed to avoid the hit. However... Yes. It... Bites me. It bites, like, the... What do you use to keep your armor on? What do I use to keep my armor on? Yeah, do you have like latches or is it just like something like a shirt you put on? Uh, hang on. My robe Belts. is hidden under my 
patchwork leather armor, and I think it probably has like straps. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see here. It bites into like one of the like a set of straps on your armor or something, and it damages your armor. It is now considered broken. Oh no! No! Oh no! All right. Okay. okay. What was that? I'm gonna put that at the side. Mario is gonna okay, cast yeah. an illusion on me. Yeah. Well, I've got, before I'm, we do that, I just Akira dodged by charging at them. Can I just get in my one attack real quick? Well, those guys haven't acted in a while, okay. so we'll do them first. Mario. They're, they're, this is kind of happening like as you're dodging, as everyone's dodging. Yeah. So, Ricario, what do you do? Basically, I'm gonna use my fantastical Copperfield abilities to make Sax invincible. Invisible, even. Invincible. Yes. Invincible. That's quite invincible. the good move. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> but no, I make I think invincible. he could make it the illusion of invincibility. Oh god, I'm not, no, Snake, I'm not doing that. I might create a great man. Yeah, but it's only an illusion. <laughs> yeah, maybe that, maybe that was what's the great man. Anyway, I make sex invisible. Cool. And like, and thanks to Copperfield, I can just make him invisible. Yeah, but you have to roll for it. Do I have to? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's your illusion. Damn, what is this? A role-playing game? I know, right? <laughs> a nine, yeah. So you just okay. make him invisible. Okay, yeah. now I'm gonna... Get up to, uh, you know, uh, let's see. So, where are the two remaining ones? They are standing on like opposite sides of a bed. Okay, uh, which one is in like, uh, are, are any of them in closer proximity to, uh, Crixis or, or like Kira or Silvar? Well, Akira's charging one. Yeah, Akira is closing in. I, I, I'm, I'm going for the one that Akira isn't charging then. Okay, that's the I'm right one. I'm just going up to it and, like, and I'm also it's just so I don't provoke their laser attacks on me. So okay. I can just get up to it and roll a hack and slash? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Alright, yeah, so describe your attack. Uh, basically I, uh, run up to, I, I run up to it now invisible. Uh, I get up, like, right to, like, its side, and I do, like, a big swipe at its, uh, torso. Cool. Um, roll your damage, and Akira, yeah. uh, roll your attack. Damage. Ah. Nine. All right. So Zach. That, that would have been one damage if I didn't have that, uh, move. So Zax, this thing, like, one of the eyes turns and, like, stares at you, and then blasts you with a ray of energy. Uh, oh, oh, you take six damage. Um, Crixus, you got hit by this too, right? I did, for four, okay. well, for yeah. five, but four. Will four. both of you please roll um, mental fortitude, defy dangers, wisdom? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, so Zax, you feel this like wave of confusion just pass over you as your data banks like start getting targets confused and everything. Will you please mark confusion? Alrighty. Wait. Do, okay. Is he now visible or is he still invisible? Yeah, he's he's totally visible. I oh, no. see Zax is fighting this, and I charge forward. So Akira, describe your attack. Um, essentially just charges him and in a very large sweeping swipe just slashes her sword across his torso. I like how both of my characters have been, like, gotten pretty attached to Crixus, but, like, unlike Burn, Zax and Crixus have a, like, a genuine friendship. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So... I, actually, I actually have an idea for helping you guys out. So, but... uh, you swing your sword across and it swings an arm to try to like hit you like claw at you uh and it just like gets the top of your head for one damage uh -huh. oh um, no I, I have a question so um with the berserk i with i'm badger lodge so my rage increases when i like take damage but if the damage is negated by armor <laughs> i don't mark rage right right okay cool good so, yeah, by the way, in, uh, during all this time, Cri 
uh, Ricario stands in the background, basically shouting at, at the events happening. All right, so so what's Solvar doing? Solvar? Solvar? I actually oh, had a fake. What was it? So yeah, uh, there was like loads of sounds coming down from that. Says, "Oh, uh, you like, oh, never mind." Uh, yeah, sorry. What was it? I was just asking, "What's up? What's the plan?" How's plan. life, Solvar? Akira and Zax are with the two at the bed, fighting them. Oh my! The one's dead. I'm going to leap on them. We're going to get rough and sweaty with each other. Oh dear! Hi, Ailey. That's Akira's plan for literally everything she meets. You're going to see his, um... Fuck, I was going to make an ice pump with a cock, but I can't think of one, so... His icicle? His icicle. <laughs> ice his pitch. popsicle. Yeah. A lot of words. Anyway. Um, no. I'm going to engage. That also sounds a bit dodgy, but... Fuck it. Um, We're going to see his swing snowballs. Swinging my axe hard towards this creature. You just see one. Um, so, so you try to advance towards it, and you know, like it's got five eyes. One eye is on Crixus, one eye is on Silvar, and then the other eye like wheels towards you as you start approaching it and shoots actually, out this gray laser at you. Actually, can I jump in and help him with a thing? Um, describe your action. Basically, Macarius gonna jump up. He's still behind him, like, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll an illusion to basically make it. Basically, make it a chain or something that holds it down. That holds what down? The the, the the thing attacking him. I mean, it's just like a floating eye. It's shooting a laser at him. Yeah, it's an illusion that it. The, here's the go. It's an illusion that there's a hook burned into it, connected to a chain that's connected to the roof. Yeah. So I'm go just go. So cool if I do that or. Well, I'm trying to figure out, like, what you're trying to accomplish. I'm basically just making an illusion of, uh, basically trying to make an illusion of uh, it being held, held back so it can't move. Well, it's firing a beam. It's not really physically moving. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, never move. mind. The eye has mind. to move to, to jack the beam. Yeah. That's what I gathered. That's why I want... No, it's not moving that. at all. Okay. Oh, I know, I know exactly instead. Scratch that. I'm gonna make a mirror! Somehow I saw that coming. Yeah, I, w I was considering doing that with my flat sword, but... But yeah, I put a mirror... I put a mirror brief briefly in front of Solvar, so it uh, reflects back to the beam. Well, I try to. Alright, so roll your charisma. Oh no! <laughs> Okay. You make a magnifying glass, amplifying. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is it that every time I try to actually no, 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 he, he, no, 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 he does make a perfect mirror, but Solvar looks into it and it just shatters. <laughs> so, all right. So that didn't work. Yeah. Uh, and Ricario, you hear like um. A the step like creak behind you. So Solvar, will you please try to uh, avoid this I beam coming at you? Sus. Mm, unfortunately, no. Sus. It hits you in the chest. You take three damage. Oh. And uh, this like wave of energy just like passes over you. I want to do something. Will you please roll your wisdom. Me. Yes. Okay, let's see here. Nine. So as this like wave of energy passes over you, you have to halt your attack, but um, you know, you have to take a moment and clear your head. Uh what was that, Crixus? I've got I've got an idea. I'm gonna spend a readiness on the one that Zax is fighting. Alright. I yell, get away from Zax, as I sprint across the room, jump on the bed, use it as a springboard, and basically, like, dive, basically body tackle him down the stairs. Like, it's by the stairs, isn't it? So, like, over the rail, down the fucking flight. Okay. Spend readiness to take something important from it, a weapon, item, position. 
All right, yeah. yeah. So this happens. You just... You don't have to roll anything for readiness, right? Yeah, it's just if I fuck up the initial... Because I didn't use Monster Hunter on these guys. I had to get readiness against them by dodging. But right. if you, if I have a readiness that I got from rolling badly, you can use it to fuck with me. Sus. I'm also going to hack and slash Wait. on the... What was that? If you get a readiness from rolling badly, I can fuck on with mon you? On Monster Hunter, because I get two readiness even if I fail on Monster Hunter. Oh, right, right. He means the game. You, obviously. So, yeah, you take, you tackle the thing away from Zax, and you both of you tumble down the stairs. Um, you immediately notice that there's another one in front of you at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, I'm going to spend my other readiness on this one. I immediately look up, and I'm going to use this to maim it. I just go for a slash across the eyes. Yeah, it uh, goes through and then it just disappears and like, uh, Ricario, what's it look like when your illusions disappear? Oh, Son of a, a it, bitch! It, it's kind of like a puff. It's kind of like a puff of smoke. Yeah, so it just disappears in like a puff of smoke. You just hear from downstairs. God damn it, Ricario! <laughs> I did nothing. Akira chimes in with another "God damn it, Ricario!" as she performs a follow-up hack and slash on. Ooh, nice. Yeah, roll your. So it rolls a big swing across the chest and now is going in for a follow-up stab. Yeah. Um. All right. It's... And that's with two piercing, I guess. Two piercing. Now nice. it's. I have four piercing from now. Now, uh, would you like to do an additional D6 but expose yourself to an attack? Um. Hmm, I think so. That seems in character. Cool, so roll another d6. <laughs> awesome, there you go. 11 damage. Great. So you definitely swing your sword like into its torso, and you notice it like lurches forward as it bites into your arm for... 5 damage. Uh, does it die? Yes, it clearly does. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I roll a Can I roll a volley to uh, shoot oh. at the at the one that Kirk's has tumbled down with, or is that? So you currently can't see it. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, well, can I... the, then can I rush down to meet with Kirk's? Well, let's see. Ricario is there first, so what's yeah. Up? So, so you said there was something behind me, right? Uh -huh. At least uh, I I turn around to see what it is. It was the illusion that uh, Crixus just, like, ah. got rid of. Crixus, like, what are you doing? So yeah, you see Crixus on top of an alien. Help ah! me, you fucking moron! I you will! You goddamn I, woman! I, Mounting I, the alien. I will roll, I will roll to make a new, a new, uh, I will roll to make a bodyguard. Can't you just okay. punch it? No! <laughs> Guess others to do his work for him, I guess. And now I'm gonna use my bodyguard to basically punch to fight the alien. It it looks like a knight, but it will still so it use I use it to attack him. Okay. Attack the alien. Yeah. What kind of weapon it. does it use? Oh, it uses a sword, but it doesn't really matter because all it, all my bodyguards use my damage die. Cool. So roll a hack and slash. And this. Oh wait. I just realized I have shit strength. <laughs> Best of luck. Well, actually, hold on. Let me let me make sure I'm reading this thing correctly. Your bodyguards it, can't uh, how, fight how, a cult. How, how's your how's your dexterity? You My may dexterity choose to focus is... your magic to make it tangible. It can deal your class damage. Oh. How's your dexterity, sweet? It's uh, it's. It's uh, pretty de decent, yeah. I could, cause like I was gonna say, like, couldn't you like just say that your knight has like a longbow or something? Well, yeah, if it had a like a rapier, it was like a precise weapon. It would use yeah. a dexterity instead. Yeah, it has a rapier. Cool. So, roll a hack and slash with dex. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Uh, so yeah, deal your damage. And. I only have a D6, but yeah. All right, so yeah, your your phantom like lunges forward and digs its it into it. 
uh, Ricardo Summer says he's really over dramatic, like, Come forth, Silver Knight! Okay, oh, so I just. Like, you're uh, and, and okay, and now Zax also rushed. At this point, Zax has rushed past Ricario to get to Crixus. I'm, um, Akira is at the top of the stair banister thing, like looking over down at him, and is shouting, Yes, Crixus, finish it now while well, you have the chance! I raise my I raise my arm with the forearm blade, draw it, and I go to punch down. Hand plus one armor and messy. <laughs> hmm. Let's go for this. Eight. Eight on strength. All right, roll your damage. Nine damage, and Nine. I get two oh, armor shit. if it fights back. So I just basically start repeatedly punching it in the face with a forearm blade. Yeah. So uh, let's see. In one of your punches, it manages to, like, bite your arm for two damage. So, none. <laughs> yeah, none. And the rest of it is just, like, you know, the forearm blade, like, stabs into the stock multiple times. It cuts off, like, three of the eyes, destroys another two, and it just turns, like, its mouth into, like, this stump. Is it dead? It's dead. I just gotta, like, yeah. punch it repeatedly for, like, 20 seconds. Stop, breathe a sigh of relief, and then cut an ice stalk to keep. God, you got Is really that... angry at it. Sol, Sol will finally a comes back. Am, I, am I your BFF? Yeah. Is that um, all that, 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 that's scattered. true friendship? That's an an that's an anime moment right there. When you be when you beat an alien to fucking death beyond death. Is that all enemy slain or scattered? Um, visible, present. Okay. Yeah, um, Akira jumps over the banister rail and hugs Crixus. Yes, you did so good. You destroyed its face. You used your rage. I'm so proud. You're really learning. <laughs> Solvo finally comes back too, and he's like, "Wait, what? What happened?" Oh yeah, yes. The, my silver knight is still right behind me. Like, yeah. <laughs> I I get up. I. I thank Akira, and then I look at Ricario. I just got put my hand on his on his shoulder <laughs> solemnly, and I say, "You tried." What? I attacked it. You tried. I took it off you. No, you didn't. You shouldn't say. Also, see, can I give you some advice? What? You shouldn't say, "Come, Silver Knight." You should say, "Come, Silver Guardian." Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Guardian is a much more anime name. Cool, so you killed them. What do you do? Oh, I took the Ice Stalk and I'm going to make that a a, tr uh, a trophy. Cool. Um, how far away back. How far away from Ingwick is this? Um, a couple right. hours. I can't really say anything about this. We can ask actually, 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 I'm going to say that. It's like, I'm going to say, hmm, you know, we're not all that far away from Ingwick. Do you suppose they know anything about these aliens? It would explain a lot if the aliens had fucked with them somehow. We did we'll see an alien on the they way. They do have them. that worm god. They do is have there, the worm god. Is there oh. anything else here that's valuable? Well, we there's still a room we haven't been in. Mm. Um, but Akira, real quick, goes back up. Um, takes the head off of one and like starts to peel at it, pick at it, look for a skull in the head. Is there? Does she find something salvageable that she can take? It's less bone, less skull, more like cartilage. Unfortunately, but there is like a sort of cartilage thing in there, or it's basically just like one like thick piece of cartilage, and that was like branching out to each of the eyes. Eh, Akira just takes the whole head off the other one she killed. Then, does that have a weight to it? Yeah, that's gonna have like a weight of one. Gotcha. Uh. So I say we go back to Ingwick. Wait, we haven't explored this whole building there's still yet. A, and this there's is still well another okay. room. One room there's, left. Okay. Do we Not really want to? Just yes. saying. Yes. That's the room oh. beneath the beneath the transmitter. You guys that's where, where the numbers. The bedroom. Hmm. It's the bedroom. You didn't look through the bedroom either. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we just, we, yeah, we just killed things in there. Yeah. Let's look through that drawer just... I was so interested in. L look, okay, um, I'm looking, what's the corpse like? I suppose Akira's been sitting next to. Yeah, so it's an older 
human, obviously. Uh, his arm is like lying on the floor. He is, his mouth is like locked in this like open, scared state, and his eyes are forever open. He's missing most of his chest as it was ripped open and then hollowed out as they were eating him. Wow. Yep. There's a nightstand nearby. My wank off to that later. Further. Wait, what's over? Oh, out of curiosity, another, but did the aliens appear to have blood? Yeah, like this thick, black, like, gooey ooze shit. Okay. Oh, so s somewhat similar to the sap. Uh, you can sort of make that acquaintance here. Yeah. Okay. Um, but not appearing to be related, or not ap at least at first appearing to be related to it. Uh-uh. Okay. Um, let's see, so there's also like a nightstand... Um, there seems to be like a foot locker at the side of a bed, and then there's the there's like a bookshelf somewhere. It's got some like potions on it, and then there is a uh, like dresser. Actually, out of curiosity, real quick, um, just for characters, so what does it smell like? Normal Earth people blood, or like does it smell like blood, or does it have a weird smell to it? It has a, let's see, that's a good question. It has a very, like, sulfur and cinnamon like, combined. Akira, Akira is uh, very interested by it. It's not like the blood she knows. She's never seen, she's heard legends of the star creatures, but never seen one. And is very interested in the blood and organs. Actually, you know, if Akira just, like, cuts one of them, it is, like, inspecting the insides of one of them. Jesus Christ, what yeah. a so curiosity. You, you notice it's, like, missing most of its crucial organs. It has a very odd anatomy. Like, does it have organs I can't identify to replace them, or just it has very few organs in general? Like, like you find this, like, weird black mass that it doesn't seem to be moving, but it's got a lot of stuff connected to it. Maybe it's some sort of heart. It doesn't appear to have lungs. You know, just weird shit. Akira shows surprising wisdom in choosing not to eat any of this. <laughs> Good. Uh, Rikara pats her on the back. Good choice. She flicks some of the black goop at his face. Ah! Yeah. Should I roll decks for that? Sure, roll a volley. I roll de I roll decks to avoid. Oh! Oh, yeah. I roll decks to kick it back in his direction. <laughs> <laughs> now I roll decks again. I I flicked like a little like maybe a teaspoon's worth of like black goop like just with my finger at him. I roll decks to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I fail. So everybody misses. This room is covered in black goop now. <laughs> you tried to see where you just end up oh, cramming the whole thing. I'm the staircase. I'm free of that. So, what do you guys do? Um, you I'm gonna. Inspect I, inspect the the I inspect the drawer that one alien was having a bit of trouble with. Yeah, so it's. You know, you open one up, it's got his, like, clothes in it. You open another one up, it's got, like, his socks in it. Um, you notice there's, like, a small box on top of it, top of the dresser, and then just, like, some other knickknacks. Oh, I crack open the box. Uh, it's got, like, 50 coin in it. 15 or 50? 50. 50. Oh, I'm taking that. We can split it later. I don't say. Uh, yep. uh, Akira, you have so much coin. Akira killed two out of three of them. You have Akira the coin, look at her. Uh, wait, I don't even have any coin. You can Actually, yeah, that is I a good point, Solvar. Alright, fine, just... have 50 coin. I just gotta give it to Solvar. Thank you. Uh, Let's Zach, see. Zach, How Zach about Zax? Zax isn't gonna ask, but he is broke. There's also a bookshelf, a nightstand, and like a foot locker. Ooh, Foot Locker. Wait, you said there were potions on. It's the Foot something. Locker locks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they're like on the bookshelf. Look, I think we always, gonna... always grab potions. Let's take those always potions. Always grab the potions. What potions are there? How many? 
Uh, there are two. Oh, right. You should you one. take these. I'm I'm already carrying like three potions, so someone else what, take what, these ones. Do I know what the two potions are of, of, or what do they look like? Are they like red, or can I one see? One second. It Give me one second. I don't have much load left, so I can't really carry any of them. How much load do? Oh yeah, that there we go. Oh, for I mean, that and Akira, I'm trying to intentionally not carry much, because Akira doesn't really have pockets or I have much of load. anything. I have two load left. I mean, I just I that's why I keep seven. writing on my sheet, not worn on my trophies. Yeah, like, same with my skulls. I'm not kidding. Although right now I have the alien thing tucked into, like, the side of my loincloth. Okay, uh, let's see. The two potions. One looks like, t like this kind of clotted... It's kind of, you know, some of it is, like, stuck to the glass, but it, it seems to be this, like, shimmery rainbow color. And the other is more of, like, a like a milky kind of thick uh, one that is, like, teal, but changes from more of, a, more of a green to, like, more of a blue and, like, back and forth. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not I want to carry those or just hog the footlocker and just carry that on me. Like, carry that around my arm. Because I don't think I can carry both in my life. I mean, there's also we the can put it in the cart. Like we only that's, have to yeah, carry that's it. That's true. As far as the cart. All right, let's take the vials. Let's put them in the cart with the foot locker. Because could bust that open later. Yeah. I'm calling dibs though. Okay. You guys can use the potions and find out what they are, but I'm calling dibs on the foot locker's contents. Alright, wow, Akira's gotten the... I, I was gonna look at the Oh, fuck! When we were in, um, the Wormtown, we didn't go to the blacksmith to put the rock on the shield. Oh, yeah! I suggested that as a yeah. joke, but yeah, well, we actually well, the, should the see if, if, if there's a block... Yeah. yeah, if there's a blacksmith that can weld that into... Her well, shield. not weld, but, you yeah. know... Well, maybe okay, we but, should but... find out how we can use it. Okay, is, is the footlocker locked? Uh, no. Oh, right, what's in it? Okay, let's just open it. There's no yeah. music stars playing. You see a couple pairs of like shoes in there, and then like um, a potion and a small like pouch that's got like twenty five coin in it. Oh. Can I have the coin? Mm. Give him the coin. You just got fifty coin. Yeah, but it's Solva. Alright, uh, actually, you know, Zax, without even asking, just kind of takes the coin. He's like, aha! Now I can get more bolts! Yeah. Are they at least tap dancing shoes? No, nah, one appears to be, like, slippers, and the other one are, like, adventuring boots. Oh. Wait, is it only one... one you know, shoe of each? You know, no, it's a pair. Oh, okay. You know, we when, do when, have a goblin boot yeah. too. You know, when we get to end of session, and when and they ask if we looted a memorable treasure, this is the first treasure we've actually looted. What? <laughs> no, that's not true. That is, I don't think what's that's true. What's the potion look like as well in this? Or what's uh, the I think it's the most bountiful. Of you can far, easily tell that this one looks just like a regular healing potion. We should just walk into more abandoned houses in the woods. They appear to be lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you actually know, none of us here remember what happened the last time we just walked into an abandoned farmhouse. Salvar's just gonna hold them and he's gonna put them in the cart when we can. Well, I suppose it wasn't abandoned that farmhouse, I mean, but it appeared to be. I mean, Crixus, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe cultists! Just don't go yeah, into yeah, the basement. I mean... Just don't go into the fucking basement. On that no, note, no, let's no, look no, at... no, no, no. Fuck, I, okay, I, out of character, fuck that. Carnivus was the only one who went into the basement, and she was fine. She had no problem with the basement. It was you fucking the main vines, lobby. Vines, no, okay, vines, okay, vines. Okay, fine. Are, are we going into Akira, the basement? Akira, let's go into the last room. Let's go into the last room. Akira, who's Carnivus? Okay. Let's go into the last room. Yeah, What's the worst that can happen? So you walk down the stairs to go to in, into the other room, and you notice one of those creatures is like in the... has like wandered into the kitchen. And is like looking at you know like the sink or something. I kind of like I kind of like lean over to Ricario and whisper another one of your illusions. No. Okay. 
I don't have any illusions. Shall we try being friendly with this one? Uh, Zax, looks, so, look, Zax looks at Crixus. In, so in like, Ricario, I'm picturing, and this is, like, on Crixus's left shoulder, and, like, equally on his right shoulder is Akira just whispering, Kill! 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 Actually, uh, Z- Z- Zax looks at Ricario, uh, Zax looks at Crixus, and just kind of points at his, uh, the crossbow welded onto his arm. Like kind of thinking, asking if he should do, asking if he should just take a shot right now. Uh, Actually, yeah, oh, wait, my, a good idea. my not everyone, my, do, my everyone bo- dog pile on free. My my go- okay. my uh, my bodyguard is still around. We're gonna dog okay. dog pile. Okay, well, yeah, let's oh. dog pile this motherfucker on three. Can I take yeah. the first shot? Can I volley? I'll, I'll just do that. On behalf of all. Okay. Those, yeah. I I'm just going to volley. I'm gonna take the first shot. And like, then... The moment he fires, we'll charge forward and... Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, roll damage. That's a hit, roll damage. Oh. Alright, roll damage. Uh, damn, that's Fuck. a good damage. Yep. And I sprint forwards, sword drawn. Yeah, As so... Do I. So... Roll it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, well, Where are damages. they just going to go down from here? Oh, roll, roll your damages. damages. God damn it. All right. Annihilated. <laughs> so, Zax, uh, what do you do? Just like ready your crossbow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ready my crossbow that's welded onto my right arm. Just kind of put the bolt in and say three, two, one, and then I let go, and then I and I fire and I fire my bolt right at him. Yeah. So your bolt just like goes through one of the eyes and pins yeah. the thing, pins the thing to the wall. Its other eyes wheel around. And fire two shots at Akira and Crixus. Uh, ooh, shit. Uh, Crixus, you take seven damage. Ow. And Akira, you take four. I immediately heal it back. By the way, Ricardo was not part of this scheme. He just stands there with the knight hovering behind him. Uh, and will both of you make wisdom saves? Just roll your wisdom. Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. So you managed to kill the thing, uh, Akira. However, you kind of pass the the effects as like I'll be confused, but I'm going to kill this thing, and you you take your swing and you absolutely destroy this creature. But uh, the wave of energy like really affects you. Will you please mark uh, confused. Okay. And then, let's see, Crixus, your attack is basically just, you beat the dead horse. <laughs> Wait, how wow. do he doesn't take wisdom? He is already confused, aren't oh. you? No, I've, I've, I've never confused. failed one of these. Okay, oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in, so let's see, you, well, can never either, outright failed. you can either choose to deal your damage to it and take the confusion, or... You know, not you. Like, you stop mid swing. You say I'm beating a dead horse. Right? <laughs> exactly. Well, you don't I'm gonna do it anyway. Dead. I'm gonna do it anyway, though. I'm gonna. I'll take it because it's fun yeah. this way. So you sever an arm off. Will you please, Mark? Confused. Yeah. Ooh. Whose arm? Anyone's? You can sever. Oh uh, yeah, he severs his own arm off. That's the confusion effect. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. So yeah, you beat that one down in the kitchen. All right, Akira hugs Crixus, very proud of him. I'm just going to like confuse around my own head, being hugged. And I just go, I killed the alien. I think. Jesus Christ, Crixus, you should t- calm down. Salvar's so like secretly mopey, he's like you know, like, like a. How much health do they have? Ten. They have like twelve. Twelve. Okay, so there's num- one room left then. Number station, actually, um, Austin, the eye I stole from them. Mm-hmm. But oh, uh, do you want to deal with that later? Uh, yeah, we'll deal with that later. Okay. I might need to do my bonds later as well because I might just go immediately after the game's done. That's fine. We're almost done. I'll just I'll just yeah, do it. Do our end of session. I'll just do it with like. Oh, okay. And I want to know what's in the other room. I mean, I I just want to get back to Ingwick, and I imagine that'd be a great place to end. <laughs> Because yeah. we're trying to head north, or trying to find, well, we're trying to find the place. We're, yeah. we're trying to head but, east at this but, point, but yeah. we're headed, like, west. 
<laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the shot for the team. I'll go in first. Sure. So you walk into uh, what appears to be like a workshop, like a almost like a sort of laboratory too. In the center of this room is like an elevated metal chair that there's somebody lying in it and it is like tilted backwards almost you know like a, like a doctor's chair kind of thing like a dentist's chair Ooh. um you see a sharp like metal pole sticking so where the headrest is the the body has its head rested like at the pole or at there but this pole is from the back of it through the head and then like continuing into like this air so it's like it, pinned there through its head is this like one of those like horrifying medieval dentists where sure it looks grim sure no. and you like, you notice the, the the body that's pinned there is just like repeating numbers over and over and over um there's a bunch of like paperwork shoved around benches and you see like like a bunch of charts and diagrams and shit. Uh, there's probably another like foot locker somewhere in here, but you also notice another one of the creatures like walking around. Oh, just one more, huh? Let's beat it well, up and take its life. I, I actually agree for once with Crixus. I read in my night. Um should gonna... Crixus and I kind of like, like dog pile again. Yeah, but I kind of say don't ki don't kill it. Take the eyes. What? Okay, kill it. Take the eyes. Don't kill it. Take the eyes. But just go. Just it, chop the eye. The eyes it. are on stalks. Just chop the its eyes off, and it can't really fight. Akira is confused by this. Akira is actually not going to join in this attack. Then she's just going to be confused and scratching her head. <laughs> we'll kill okay, it. I kind of I kind of see the hesitation. I say we'll kill it after we're done with it. Okay, if I stab one of the eyes. Um, hang on. I, I, I feel like I want to have first hits. I want sure, to be selfish. Go ahead. I'm, fine with that. I'm gonna take the first swing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the chance. If something goes wrong, one of you stab its eyes. Let's go swinging. I'm gonna swing. Swing, swing, swing. swing I'm just, I'm just lunging myself swing. at it. Swing, swing, swing. Can I say that while he's doing this, I and pr I'm assuming the rest of us like flank it, like go around and move mm. in. Yeah. Did I, did I hit? Yeah, that's an eight. Roll your damage. Six. Six damage. All right. Uh, you swing your axe into it, and its yeah. it arm its arm comes around and like backhand you for two damage. Close, close. Uh, I'll rush oh. in and do my own hack and slash. Okay. Everyone who uh, wants to attack, go for it. I was gonna say, um, yeah. I, well, I, I was going to. So. Okay. I, well, I was going yeah. to. Oh. Roll my damage. I'm, I'm used. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just guessing yours. Oh, sorry. Eric, go ahead. Yeah, Eric. I did time damage. Grab, rip it. I'm go to specifically like grab its eye stalks and rip them off. I don't know if you roll. Okay. Hack. I mean, I mean, I, I sliced at its uh, at its eyes with my short sword. Same here. Yeah, Okay, okay. Yes, myself. guys, you killed it. Okay, oh. cool. Way to yeah. go. Nice. Do I take damage? Oh, damn. Wait. I did, Ricardo didn't even get the chance. So, Zax and Kirksis both take damage. Zax, you take six damage. Kirksis, you take another seven. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, takes me down to six HP. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You gotta watch your health, man. It's fine. It's at this point I'm gonna start worrying. And now it's dead. You killed it. Okay. I didn't want... Yeah, I just got, like... I seven. Like, covered in laser burn wounds, I just kind of say I didn't want it dead. Yet. Akira's just very Well, I- Well, you, you, told, you told us to cut off- to, to cut off its eyes. Its eyes is basically its head, Crixus. No, it has, like, it has a head with eye stock type things. So, where's the- I wanted to see if it could talk. Okay. Yeah, there's, well, there's another chest, like- Almost like a toolbox sitting on a bench. No, I said, uh, no, I said where is it? In his head. <laughs> Alright. It's oh, just it's sitting on a bench, like I said. Let's go looting. Let's, let's loot, loot, loot. Alright, we're cracking it open, and... 
Um, let's see. Let me, let me find something good for you guys. But while you're nice. searching that up, the metal pole that's going through its head, that goes, like, lodged firmly into the floor, right? Uh, no, actually. It is just, like, through the chair, through their skull. It's Is probably it? like three feet long. There's a pair of Could socks I, here. Like, I grab it and I like very softly try and move it upwards. Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you give it a good shove through and it moves. Okay, so I remove I remove it from the head. A pair of tattered old socks okay. in here. There is a clear like hole in this thing's skull. Where Wait, is this like an goes. alien or a human or what? No, it appears to be like a human. Okay. Um, their eyes are completely white, they have no teeth, and they just keep repeating numbers. Does, uh. I kind of like, after I remove the pole, I step out of the room and I check the ear. Uh, yeah, it, there is no uh, noise, no numbers. Well, hmm. that solves the mystery of the numbers ear. Well, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it just kind of stops it. <laughs> No, oh, actually, no, but Zach just says, well, Oh, actually. That solves that mystery. Uh, no, it sorry. doesn't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, this rod you're holding, um, it doesn't move, but it looks like it has a button on it. I press the button. Of course, and I'm going to press the button. Huh? It, it now moves. <laughs> I move it, I remove it from the head. Cool. And you then I, when it's out of the head, I press the button again. Yeah, it completely does not move. It's just suspended in the air. Yes. I am keeping this good. fucking pole! That's awesome. It would be useful. Yeah. It's, okay, it's, it's interesting. Treasure, then. You, so should we... ask, you, you should ask somebody in town about it. No, uh, you know, actually, I say that we should do end of session before going to Inkwick. It'd be cool that, you know, to, to, like, come back to the next game and we're, like, just in this cleared out house. Can someone uh, draw yeah. the pole? There you go. Oh, I, I pasted what it is in chat. What's in the Foot Locker? Oh, I know this! This is from, like, fucking Pathfinder, isn't it? I don't know, it's in the Dungeon World book. Oh, it just cool. it coincidentally fit. Okay. Zero uh, weight. I like that. I like zero weight. In oh, the it's... in the box is, like, a healing potion uh, and 50 coin. Right, uh, Princess could probably use these healing potions. No, I, 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 no I don't worry about it. I'll recover. Like I'll recover. Empty. I'll recover health before next session. Who has the lowest amount of money? Soul bars. There's also a bunch of miscellanea in the Actually, toolbox, no, no, but I know you guys don't care about it. No, Zach just takes it. Takes one no, I, oh, hold on a minute. Hold on. Let me finish, Neo, before you start anything. Soul bars not going to get into another conversation about the coin, so he is going to split it begrudgingly. Is going to split it. Actually, you guys both have more money than I do now. Yeah, well, I have fifty <laughs> points now. Who knew that a robot without free will could be so greedy? I mean, I don't really this care. This is I... all for bolts. This is in within his parameters. He needs to maintain his his shot. Yeah. I mean, Akira it... doesn't really care about yeah. money. She uh, really needs something. Actually, cool. just take it from Crixus. Actually, Lucario leans into uh, Crixus like, I see you've taught him the value. The virtue of gre greed. I didn't teach him that. He knew that before yes. he met me. With 50 coin, I shall be able to refill my shots without being extorted horribly. But you're still being extorted the rest of the yes, time. Yes, but we're not in Gaywald right now. Good you point. do realize they're probably going to keep a tab, so if you return, you're probably going to have to pay them up a lot. Hmm. I think we my replace, guy might. I just kind of like look at Ricario. We replace the mayor, we can replace a blacksmith. <laughs> Are you suggesting we're taking control over all of K-Wall? No, but now I've replaced someone, the guilt of doing so doesn't really hurt as much. Oh, Trixus, you are... At least you're honest with yourself. Yeah. So the rest of the place is just, like, covered in papers and, like, drawing implements and, like, charts. But Oh, that's actually another thing. While we're collecting things, and because Metal Gear Solid has influenced my decision making, that person on the table is still speaking, right? Still saying numbers. Yeah. But are you going to Fulton him? Fulton him? Well, I'm going to more <laughs> kind of portable ops him, which is where you just, like, drag people to your van, where you drive them away, which is somehow <laughs> even better than just Fultoning them. 
<laughs> yeah, I just take him to the cart and throw him on next to the other corpse. Yeah, um, I mean, it's it's there. The other just, corpse. The other corpse. Saying numbers. So hang on. Let, let's go over this a minute. We got a corpse that's clutching a crystal of actifizers. We have a goat now. We have a guy who's rambling off numbers. We've got several potions from this. And we got Is the goat helping points. to pull the cart? No, it's at the back. We got a floating rod. An immovable rod. Some interesting items from this. I am so I am keeping this immovable rod. This is mine. And the tentacles and eyes and such. Akira is keeping the electric rock. I'm keeping fifty coin. <laughs> <laughs> um, it Joe... didn't take fifty. It took twenty five. We split it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also had twenty five from the other one. Remember? Right. Okay. Um, a bit before, like, to rewind a little bit right after killing the thing, I'm just gonna say Akira sort of takes her, um, fuck, not Ricario, Crixus aside. See, you can't just demand something like that and then just launch an unorganized attack. When you're leading troops, you have to devise a strategy to achieve a specific objective. Charging in is well and fine, but you can't expect a specific result if you do that. Why do you become this is all so... part of your training. Why do you become so much more clear-headed when you're talking about murder? It's what I've trained to do. Yes, I you're all horrible. You're all horrible people. But we're not troops. We're just idiots. Yes, yes, Crixus, you're one. Sal you're involved. Salty. You're the biggest idiot. I'm not saying. Yes, I'm stupid for staying here. No, you're stupid, and that's why you're here. No, I'm stupid for staying here. Hey, uh, Austin, could you type me the details of those other two potions to me? Um, and so, on Skype, me and, just... uh, they're just healing potions. Oh, me okay. and Crixus are just arguing all the way what, back. All four? I, got, like I got four of them. Oh, I told you the other two. Yeah, I was saying, could you, like, copy paste that to, like, Skype or something? Sure. Like, as Crixus and Ricario argue, Akira sort of mutters, sighs, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, so it's getting a bit late. Should we do end of session? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, one second. I'm going to remove the that. Tom plant. Thank you. Yeah, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark down the XP I got for playing the game, because we do get that right. Yeah, one XP. And then I'll go over the other stuff with you later. Well, I mean, hold on, I can just go over this real fast. Yeah, you, you just take off first, then we'll, yeah. the rest can. Yeah, I'm just... Mm. So, you, you don't have on. to stick around for too hold long. On. You, looted a minimal, you did loot a mineral treasure, you overcome a noble monster, and you learned something new. That's 4 XP. Enjoy. Oh. Nice. Goodbye. Jesus. And <laughs> full. Yeah. Okay, so do our own bonds, I guess? Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. uh, I gotta do my bonds first, because I had some pretty cool ones. Go for it. Okay, so I have a new bond with Crixus, a separate one. Which is, I did not anticipate how serious Crixus was about giving me free will. And I think I've resolved the bond with Crixus, or at least have, like, advanced it as far as I think it can go. My first one, which was, Crixus seems to greatly appreciate me as a true companion and a great, com and a great combat droid. Uh... As a companion in a great combat droid, I am changing that to Crixus seems to greatly appreciate me as a companion and a great friend. Oh, yeah. All right, mark XP for it. Nice. That is sweet. Anyone else? Yes. Bonds. Um. Yeah. Um. Okay. My bond with Crixus has actually advanced quite a bit. Um. Crixus is making great strides as a warrior, and I'm proud of him. Cool. Um, I'm also going to say, Ricario is actively dangerous to have around. <laughs> Akira does not like, like, before she just sort of vaguely didn't respect him, she actively dislikes Ricario now. Well, it's fitting, because mine with you is currently, Akira cannot be trusted in battle if she attacks anyone, including me. Because, you know, last time you did attack me, but... Fantastic. I... Alright, so take two XP for there. Uh, anyone else? I'm going to... One with Akira, just kind of based on everything that has happened so far, is before it was Akira's past intrigues me, I had to learn more of her style to upstage her. That was last session. Now I'm going to change that to Akira's style contrasts with mine, but it's something I should learn from. 
It's mm. more, I'm a gladiator who fights, who tries to fight stylishly. She's just rote and practical, <laughs> if brutal. Okay. You're not a gladiator anymore, though. But he still fights like one. In a kind of, in a sense, that he still tries to be flashy occasionally. Uh, Ricario, yeah. you got any bonds? Could you could you have more than one bond for one person? Or? Yeah. Because uh, Crixus is still a crazy man that drags me along as the virtues, and Akira is still cannot be trusted. But I've, I feel like I want to add one each that is basically uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make them respect me. Basically. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm gonna make the rest of the party respect me. Cool. The only one who respects Ricario is Zax. Actually, I'm gonna say I'm making an additional bond with Crixus. Crixus is my friend. Oh. No. My no, bond. No Crixus one is still. Is still the, the kind of key change there is it's still about how you fight, but now it's something as if it's like not trying to upstage you. It's like genuinely <laughs> trying to learn from you. Sweet. Does Ricario? Does Ricario at least appreciate Zax's respect now? Well, I was gonna say. I still have. I had a bond. My current bond is sex is easily exploited, and I need to keep an eye out for that. But at least, I think one bond is basically at least sex respect me. Actually, one with Zax was That's Zax a is a word. danger when Sway to others. I'll have to keep it <laughs> nah, by my but, side. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> no, I don't Wait. really have a. I don't know. I don't really have a different bond with him. Oh yeah, I still have one for Tom Plant, even though he's not around. <laughs> Tom oh, Plant it's is left. Oh god, it's great. Tom Plant seems to be the only sensible around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you saying about your bond with Zax? Uh, I think mine's a bond with you, because when... He's... Oh. Yeah, but he's easily exploited because you're always like, you cannot say no. No, that's actually what mine has changed with now with Zax, was Zax fought for us with no prompting. He truly is an ally who deserves free will. Actually, yeah. Everyone became to... friends this session. <laughs> Actually, well, like, you did. Crix, like, Akira really dislikes Ricario, but other than that. Probably really actually, not. Actually, uh, Sex did, uh, tell, did actually propose an idea to help fight, so, hmm. Probably not with Solvar. Have you not got anything with him? No, no, no I don't you're... really have what? much with Solvar. My, my yeah, chance uh, is... Like, like, the thing is, uh, Zax. Like, he, he, like, basically, Solvar is this kind of, you know, Solvar. He's cold and distant. And basically, as far as Zax is concerned, that just means he doesn't really register. And as far as Zax goes. Mine review was Solvar is cold, I'll have to lighten him up. Did I attempt that this session to lighten you up? Uh, no. I think I, I did. Really... Mine is also Solvar is cold. He would I be hate... useful to soothe injuries. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry, mine with you is Solvar is probably misunderstood. Well, I, I, I'm really bad at doing this because I just have no clue what to put down. I'm just trying to think. They just make them like how you'd want to interact with the other characters, then do that and try I mean, I, I, I have a little bit of a, a silly one with um, Zax, is that I'll just... I don't think I'll be splitting money with him again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I have one that I think mine with sex kind of evolved. Or maybe you can have a bond like, hey, Crixus gave me money while the rest of these assholes won't give me so anything. I didn't give him. Oh, I no, I did give Solvar money. Yeah, you gave him the fifty coin. Actually, I think I'm gonna change mine for sex too. Sex seems to sex seem, seems loyal and dependable because he, you know, tried to save us. Yeah, yeah let's change that. Also, uh, also uh, oh yeah, we're not out of alignments yet. Hmm? Uh, I have to ask if, I, if, if you think I fulfilled my alignment, because I think I kind of did. What's your alignment? Uh, place yourself in the way of a tyrant or evil force. I, mean, sure. I, I, went, I went out of my way. Yeah. Oh yeah, alignments. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so anyone else do their alignment? Uh, I don't, not I really. Don't think, I don't think I did. Um, would you argue that I destroyed a threat to civilization purely for the sake of others? I don't uh, think yeah. we're in a civilization. Well, really? Yeah, I would. It's kind sure. of small scale, but I'm not. You can't kill fucking elder gods every session. 
I my guess. alignment's difficult because Akira's a bit too focused on letting Crixus make the first move to really disregard a danger that could kill a normal person. Maybe it's like not she doesn't care about the danger, but that's she's how you still disregard like... it, though. If you just don't care about it, that's the yeah. But disregard. she's not really acting on it, I guess. Maybe um, it's like, hey, I see a trap. Oh, Crixus is gonna walk yeah. into the trap. This will be funny. Unless Solvar knew that that weird thing in the sack was going to die anyway, then I don't think I fulfilled it. I We were just fighting normal stuff. Uh, Ricario, did you do your uh, not. I didn't really fascinate and amaze. Nope. I mean, character-wise... You amaze... Yeah. Actually, you amaze me when I, when I wasted a readiness punching out an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll take that. I'll take it. In the purest sense, he did amaze me. That's true. It's true. I'll take it. Uh, okay. Did you learn something new and important about the world? Yeah, yeah. aliens. Uh, aliens wait, we, were, we already did this. <laughs> aliens! <laughs> yeah, but we were rushing through it because Silver yeah, 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 okay. Aliens exist, I think that counts. I think that is it. And, and um, the numbers station. Following hey, mom, new paths. There's something in the back room. Hope it's not the creatures from above. No. Trees are alive, we also learned that. You knew I that. know. I I know some of yeah. the okay, yeah, actually. Like, could to be fair, it. Akira of all the party knew that aliens were a thing. Uh, that oh, oh by the reason. way, by the way, you know, you know how a mimic uh, in his like first pool of advanced moves gets two multi-class dabblers. You know what my second one's gonna be? Mm -hmm. Now that I leveled up, I'm getting from the assassin. Cat's grace. Your coordination and agility are enhanced. You can jump three times your height and fall a great distance oh without harm. What? <laughs> wow. So I have be like water and cat's grace. I'm going and to... be like water. I'm going be to... like waters from the samurai. Your fighting style is flowing and oh, that, that, that. add your dex to your damage. So I'm, I'm just going gonna be to be mobile as fuck. I actually leveled up, so I'm going to increase. I'm having a hard time picking yeah, yeah. between uh, dex and I'm, I'm having a hard time picking between dex and constitution. I'm just Const going to... Constitution will raise my uh, HP, obviously. And... But uh, if I increase my dex one more time, when I level up next and I increase my dex one more time after this, oh. I'll have a four, a plus four in dex, which will oh, increase mm. my damage Hold on. further. Alright, so yeah, so everyone got uh, bond XP, alignment XP, three XP for the three goals, and one XP for playing. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Nice. Alright, cool. I, I, I'm, right. I'm increasing my dexterity. Oh wait, one last thing, Austin. Mm. The the alien eye. Mm -hmm. Arcane trophy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see here. I. What's up, Silver? <sighs> no, uh, fuck. I had a bond for Crixus, and now it's gone. Oh, isn't it something about the money? No, I. I mean, it was gonna be that, but I was gonna say something like, um. The, it, it, it was something related to how, even though I didn't agree with going a random path, Crixus's uh, idea of following the other way um, actually led to some interesting discoveries. I just don't know how the fuck I was going to say it. Crixus uh, lives true. life off the beaten path. He's uh, truly the greatest man ever to follow. <laughs> uh, I actually have a serious suggestion. Maybe put it as, like, adventuring with Crixus can lead to uh, great treasures. Is never a that... dull day. Uh, I'll, I'll, I think actually that's, that's... like I'll I'll, yes. I'll say this about Crixus, It's never a dull day following his path. Hey, that, that sounds cool. So it's pretty. It's it's changed. So I'm just really like I can jump three times my height and fall great distances without harm. There you go. All right. Awesome. Uh, the eye stock. Yeah, I need to think about that. I'm kind of hoping for laser beams, but really, that's a bit much, fine. isn't it? I, I, I've leveled as well. <laughs> I think I, I thought about giving to... you a laser beam, but I really need to like. I mean, it's weird because my character is like very standoffish and cold, ha ha ha. Yeah. But like, he doesn't interact with everybody else, so I think I need to. I think him. I o over the over the, s the course of the games. This is what's going to happen: is he's going to defrost, you know? Oh, like mm. I know that's cheesy, but it's like he's going well, to open that, up to you guys. Well, 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 that was the theme of this whole session: friendship. Mm. 
or lack thereof in Ricario's case. Like, everyone's growing closer together while Ricario's becoming more and more made fun of. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. Like, even, like, when we were ever sleeping, like, he stayed in the cart, he, slept, he slept in the inn. Yeah. He doesn't like you because of obvious fucking reasons. <laughs> I'll stop recording now that you've pointed that out. Again, lore dump. All right, lore dump. So, okay, a few weeks back, if Crixus would have left the town when oh, the, the ear, moon, when the ear would have first made noise, he did not have the ear on him when it started. However, once he did pick up the ear, he immediately noticed static. Whatever, he ignores it for a week, or like you know, a span of time. The next span of time, the uh, I'm just gonna call him the wizard, the old man who lived in the building, established contact, and then hence the moon and the falling stars, because he was basically uh. using the fucking you know human he set up to basically try to make contact with the elders, and then you know stars and the moon freak out, aliens fall to earth. And today, you stopped the aliens from destroying the world, basically. Wow. It's I one of those things that, if left unattended, will wreak havoc. For example, the fire cult would have wreaked havoc. These guys would have wreaked havoc. Other so, things are currently wreaking havoc because they've been ignored. Like so the children. We're in some ways here. Wait, the children yeah, weren't yeah, ignored. Yeah, 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 they were. Eric, fuck you, last game. We're like, yeah, we were really like slaying fire dragons. Now, we just saved them. Fucking we world. killed four weak aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we saved the world. Actually, it's about, it's right? about start. It's about stopping the plots before they advance too far. Did we actually? Uh, so the, it's done then. The like that was it. Those were the only aliens they were. There might be like a few remaining, but like, what are they gonna do? This is, this is like that, that's like that's like Fallout. Just you just find just a, two three aliens. Oh, um, those cultists in, like, our second game, were those something that would have turned into something? That They might have just been a, th a thing that happened. Okay. Interesting. Is that Lord Dump? Yeah, Lord Dump. Okay, Lord but I, honestly, I'm almost a bit disappointed that the vines aren't something that's currently wreaking havoc in a large portion of the world.